All right, it's Chip again. And this time we're going to be placing some units uh, because I'd like to add some more racks, especially surrounding the base to give the player something to reclaim. So let's get right onto that. Now make sure you turn on your symmetry mode in case you turned it off. Um, and I hope you use center by angle. I'll be repeating that throughout the entire series. And we want to have this rack kutch group. There we go. So you click on the army and you add wreckage. In this case, I don't want it to be of army 1, but of army 7. So wreckage. There we go. And now we can click on the units, find unit, and it starts loading in all the units of the base game. So let's see, uh, note that if you if you put down like a tech free unit, that's going to be a humongous amount of mass. So we should definitely not do that. Let's place down this little, little fella right there. And then it had some cargo with it. Uh, maybe down there in the corner. And then it had some cargo with it. Two of these. Two anti-air guns, because it's a good player with a well-balanced army. And an Aurora and a Scout. Now, by all means, it's not going to be located like this. I, with W, you can switch to translation. With E, you can switch to rotation. If you want to have free rotation, you got to click this little button here. There we go. This little fella crashed, so these are going to be all over the place. I see I didn't place that scout in the end. Not that good of a player. Alright. And now, just a quick check. Move him back a bit. These exist on the other side too. There we go. Nice. And we can accentuate this a bit by placing down some decals there we go moving to tundra here and then we've got this little explosion decals that we can used to accentuate about this horrible event that took place here. All right. And we can even go a tiny bit further and say, well, We can use this as if they slay, they, they went through the snow somehow and ended up where they did. And then we can go to common, or maybe even better to uh, geothermal. And then we add this crater here to accentuate the fact that they all originated from this little fella. And then we can, whoa. It's one time too many. It's always a bit of a. There we go. And then we can make this guy here slightly larger to accentuate that. And now, by all means, 
we should be looking at getting some general snow to make it all a bit less obvious about what, what happened here. We can also check what if we remove the units. Still looks pretty decent. And are you joking me? Okay. Brilliant. Replacing them. All right, and because of the horrible diagonal mode, I gotta redo these the decals here. At least the sliders need to be redone. Yeah, but by deleting them, let's delete them here. So let's not do that. Let's turn off the symmetry mode before I do that. And now we can just rotate this little fella. And there we go. Oh, wait, no, there it is. There's another one there, yeah. Give me the one underneath. There it is. All right. And now we need to make it all a bit le less obvious. All right, that looks uh, looks solid. And this is where you can really see how these things come together instead of being separate from each other. All right, I'd like to do the same thing here. Um, I'm adding a bit more ma reclaim to the spawn because we only start with three mass extractors and this needs to compensate for that loss of mass. But we can uh, definitely add some additional other type of usefulness because here we have the neutral civilians and there is by all means a cybern base here, a small cybern base that is. and that is going to be having a small tech one radar in this little habitat want to turn on there we go a tech one radar with a power generator there we go a little power generator We don't want free rotation for structures. That's just gonna make everything look bad. There we go. Now I forgot to turn on diagonal, so I'm copying these units, turning on diagonal, removing these units and pasting them again so that they uh, clearly show up on the other end. That's nice. Yeah, that was a uh, great plan. Let's just replace them. Uh, now it places them, okay. There we go. And now we want the radar back there. Mm, there we go. 
Add some walls. Now this is Siren, so these walls should be going all over the place. And there we go. Nice little fortified radar location. And this can be used for reclaim, but this can be used to get a quick radar in this area. And maybe we want a little civilian base here in this corner right there. See how we can make that work. And just to make this initially a tiny bit more difficult, We'll be placing one tech one turret there. Uh, but we want the turret to be hostile, right? These are neutrals, these are not. We want the turret to be considered hostile. So here we have initial, there we go. And we want the turret that we're placing to be part of this initial group. There we go, now we can turn off symmetry to remove one of them. And uh, free rotation so that it looks into the center. All right, turn on symmetry again, and we're gonna place down some walls. Now these walls, they're neutral again. So let's start placing them down. Make sure you click on the unit group and not on the army or it will tell you that you're trying to place things that are not in a unit group. Sometimes the mesh doesn't load in. There you go. All right. And we can remove these props or remove them inside the base. Just like that. Gotta fix the texture. Let me use this. Uh, to them and there we have a tiny little siren base in the middle of nowhere but it does give people an, 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 uh, a reason to go into this corner because previously there was no reason this is quite a, a hunk of uh, chunk of mass so that's not bad we got this little radar here going that that, that looks pretty good we got this Ian dropped, it got intercepted somehow, and that crashed. So that's looking quite decent. We can add more Ian Rex here, uh, I'd like that. Rex. Maybe some airplane Rex. A specter wreckage. Turn on the symmetry again. 
with a few interceptors. There we go. Free rotation. These guys crash near, near these trees. So we're going to be wanting some explosion decals here again. Craters. And I want to fix the. This is the wrong one. There we go, it looks better. Can make that fit in right there. Adds a bit more reclaim to move towards the center, but beyond that, there's nothing really there. So the reclaim is interesting, but so is the expansion. You don't want to, to be the knight of this reclaim. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. We shouldn't be doing uh, a lot more wreckage on the map, or we start really pushing the player to always need to get that wreckage. Like, this is always... The player would always need to get this, and would always need to get this because if it doesn't, and their opponent does, then you're, uh, then you have an issue, right? But this is an interesting choice that the player has to make, where you kind of want to move up here to secure these extractors here, but you don't want to give this to your opponent, right? If your opponent manages to get that, that's a big issue. So that's gonna create an interesting skirmish for this little base here. No, I'm just going to keep it there in the corner. Alright, and that's it about units. So just a quick recap. You can click here on Find Unit to find the unit. Uh, you can randomize the rotations. You can select of the selected types. You can select of all the groups. So if you have the wreckage group selected and you click Select Group, then it doesn't actually do anything. Okay, well, you know, it's, uh, it's a button. And you can export and import units. And um, you can give units a specific name in case of a script, but that's not really a part of this series. And uh, that's it. We're, we're getting to a point where the map is really feeling more and more finished, like an actual map that, that people can play. Uh, yeah. So the remainder of this series is really about placing decals on the s on the ice that we have remaining on the map. Um, I'm not really sure how much of that I'll be recording because it is kind of the same thing that we'll be doing here. Uh, tweaking, editing them, see what fits, see what doesn't fit, etc. Uh, but uh, what's really important is that I, I'd like to not have more than 300 decals because that's really not required to have uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of decals on a map like this. So we'll, we'll see how that ends up. I think this is too dense right now because there's just so much happening, whereas it is, after all, still snow. In my opinion, what we have here still looks kind of good. I think we can also mess with the layers slightly to make that look better like we have this really not that usually good looking normal map going on here that that's already better if we make it smaller But that's something to look into. Uh, but overall, the map is really taking shape. And that is looking quite good.
So I'll be doing uh, a few more videos about specifics and then doing a recap about some of the choices that were made off camera. And then that is it about making a map in general. Uh, but before I start talking about what to do with the map and how to upload it to default, let me finish this off camera uh, by doing what we've been doing so far, but then just doing it again.